What's up guys? So today I'm going to teach you graphic designing and I'll be using a platform or a software called uh, Canva. So make sure to watch the video till the end. I'll be showing you all the steps from A to Z. So after this video, you've been experts in graphic designing using Canva. So why Canva? So Canva is a free platform or software. Why am I saying platform or software? It's because you can download the software and run it on your computer or you can just do your designing online. So there are those two options you can do online in your browser or if you want, you can download the software and run it as an application. So that's why I'm saying platform or software. And the other thing, and the other good thing about Canva is that it has um, a free vision and you also have a paid vision, but the free vision is um, enough and the free vision has a lot of features and with me, I've been using Canva for about three years now and I'm still on the free one because everything I want is on the free vision. So let's get to it. So let's start by installing Canva. So let's go to our browser. So just type in Canva, that's C-A-N-V-A. -A. And then we click here. And then you just scroll down where it says a uh, free designing tool. So it's, it's opening, let's just talk about what you can do on Canva. So Canva, you see later on when we get into the software that it supports a lot of uh, different um, designs. You can do things like posters, you can do things like uh, thumbnails. Let's say if a digital co uh, creator like me, you need thumbnails for your videos on, on YouTube or on Facebook, you can create thumbnails as well. Oh, you can do banners, you can do, if you want to go professional, you can do things like um, uh, menus for restaurants, you can do flyers, you can do magazines, you can design ebooks. The list is endless. So there are a lot of things that you can use Canva for. So I'm going to be showing you all those uh, features and how to do all those things. Okay, so let's get into it now. So you see something like this once you have typed in Canva. And then as you can see here, it says log in or sign up. So it means if you do not have an account, you just go and click where it says sign up and you'll be able to use Canva. So I already have an account. So I'll just go here where it says log in. And then I'll log in with my, with my Google account. So once you have uh, finished signing up, you will see uh, a page like this. So this is where you do your designing. Here where it says create design, you can just click. There, but I'm going to go to the software one. That's the one that I use every day. That's uh, to me, it's more convenient for me to use uh, the software, not the online one. So if you want to download, just go here, you click here. And then where it says get the Canva apps, you just click them. And then you see um, that it will start. And then from here now, you'll be able to download. So just click on download and then your Canva application will download and then after that you install. So let's go to the app. So once you've downloaded the application, this is uh, what you see after installing. So here it says create design. I'm going to come back to it later. This is where you can click when you want to create your design. And then on the other side then we have um, the home, we have templates, we have projects. Uh, and then at the bottom there we have the brand. So this one's with the crown with this yellow goldish um, crown. This is for the paid vision. So it means if you are using the free vision, you won't, be use, you won't be able to use anything with that yellow crown. But if, if you want to upgrade, maybe you want to take this in a, in, uh, to a professional level, you can uh, use this once you've upgraded to the paid ones, all right? Okay, so now let's go to designing. So when you want to design, let's say you want to design uh, a poster or anything that you want to design, right? You can go to create plan and then you, you, you click on create plan or you can come here where there is this plus. So let's click, let me click here where there's this plus. And then you see here, um, I'll be given different options. So as you go down, these are all the things that you can do. So let's just go from the top going uh, downwards. So there's an option where you can do a video, you can do a presentation where the resolution will be 1920 by uh, 1080 pixels and then you can also do for Facebook post. So that's the other good thing about Canva that it gives you suggestions. If you don't know the resolution that is needed for a Facebook post, it will have it there 
Uh, so you don't need to, to cramp to say, on Facebook, I need to use this uh, resolution. On Instagram, I, I, I have to use this resolution. It's there already on um, Canva. All right, so if you go down, here it says portrait. So that's for, for portraits. Let's say you want to cre create maybe a poster, which will be in a portrait mode. So it will be easy for you. You just come in and click on portrait. And then uh, Facebook cover, the, the resolution is already there. So you don't need, again, to claim uh, the resolution that you need for a Facebook cover. And then also you have um, Instagram posts, uh, logos. If you want to get into that business where you will be designing logos, you can also come and use Canva for free. If you polish up your skills, you can actually make a lot of money making uh, logos. All right, and then Instagram stories and then animated logos are your story. In all this, you can create your resume here. Uh, you can create business cards. That's another business you can also do with Canva, whereby you do business cards for people and you print them. So that's another good thing about Canva. And as you go down, you see that there are a lot of things that you can do. Here there is desktop wallpaper. So you can create uh, desktop wallpapers for people or just for you. It all depends with um, what you want to do. You can do designs for t-shirts. Uh, you can do certificates, newslet uh, newsletters, labels, calendars, um, a lot of things that you can do with Canva. But you're not going to use all this. Let's go up now where it says custom. Because oftentimes, for me, I want to put my own resolution. So you go here where it says custom, and then you just click on custom. And then here now, you choose, yeah, I can use pixels, or I can go and click on inch or millimeters or centimeters. So it depends. So if you're doing it professionally, a customer will tell you to say, I want a poster which is maybe 1080 pixels by 720 pixels. Or someone will come with actual dimensions whereby uh, the person will say, uh, can you do a poster for me or a banner? That would be one meter by maybe five meters. So Canva will help you with that. Just go and click on the units that you want to use and you'll be able to get a poster or a banner of that size. So I'm going to use pixels because I, I usually do designing for digital platforms. So here I'll put my width is maybe let's just use um, 2,440 and then my height, let's say it's 1080. All right. So you see, once you've entered the width and the height, this button that says create new design will come, will, will turn on automatically and then it will be clickable. So let's go ahead and click. Okay, so this is uh, my way I'll be doing my designing. So this is the space, which is uh, 2440 by 1080 pixels. So this is usually used for things like banners or posters. And um, the other thing about this is that if you're on the free vision, you can't resize once you have um, put your dimensions. Uh, but if you upgrade now, you'll be able to do any resizing. Let's say that you have um, put your custom uh, dimensions and then you, re you realize that it's not the actual dimensions that you wanted so you can resize but only if you're on the paid um, uh, uh, but only if you're on the paid one with the free one you cannot resize so you have to restart you have to redo everything so with me so it means if you know that you are using the free vision make sure you know the dimensions before you start designing otherwise you you have to redo everything all right, okay, so before I put anything on my design, let me just show you around. So here, they, it's where it says templates. These are templates that are there already that you can use. So I can just come here and pick this one. And as you see here now, I will be having uh, this. It says uh, green unveiling on. And I can go ahead and, um, you know, move things around. Or I can uh, add more things. Or I, Basically, you can use a template. And then on that template, you change whatever that you want to change. And then you'll be able to 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 come up with your, the design that you require. So that's another good thing about Canva that there are lots and lots of templates. So as you go down there, you see that there are different templates that you can use. So it it all depends with the kind of a design that you'll be looking for. Let's say if you're looking for maybe uh, let's say let me go down. Maybe it's it's a poster for music. You can come and choose this one. Let me just redo here. So let's say that you make a mistake. You can come here on top on these uh, two arrows. This is the undo one. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control Z. I'm sure you know that one. But uh, with me, usually I use my mouse. So I'll just click here on undo. It will undo step by step. And then maybe you want to create uh, a poster for a food company. 
you can just come here you look for the one that suits you and then you create so as you can see here here it says pro with that crown remember i said everything that you see with that gold crown is for the page vision so when you're looking for a template look for the templates that do not have that crown so you keep on going if if you haven't uh, found what you're looking for just keep on going just keep on going you keep on going obviously it will depend with the kind of design that you want okay so these are the templates so the other thing that you see is that um this template the one that we are seeing now is for these dimensions if i'm to change the dimensions let's go and create another design if I come here and I, I click here, then I go to custom, and then maybe I'll say 1000 by 1000. Let me, let me say 1000 by 1080 pixels. You see that the templates will be a little bit different because the Canva will give you templates that will suit the dimensions that you have um, chosen. All right. So, so now if you go to templates, you can see that we are getting totally different templates. So I can come in and click on this one. You see, so this is the design that I'm getting. And again, I can come here and do any changes that I want. I can move things around. I can remove, I can actually delete totally. I can delete this. Then I can add, I'll show you how to add uh, later on. All right, okay, so, okay, let's move on. So like I was saying before that, um, each and every dimension or each and every resolution will be having their own templates that suit that resolution. So you should know your resolution. And then once you have entered your resolution, if you're using custom, you'll go to templates and you'll be able to get your templates. All right, let's go back to our poster. So I'll just cancel here. And then, um, so we are done with templates. And then the next thing is elements. So these elements now, these are things like shapes, lines, frames, etc etc so there are a lot of um options that you can choose from so let's just go down and then you see so all this all this is free to use so these are frames what do we use frames for so let's say that you want to put a picture you put a frame first okay let me show you so let's say that i take this frame right and then if i put a picture now i'll go to uploads i'm sure i have some pictures all right, okay, so let me say that I want to use this picture. I'll just drag this picture and I will put it here. So can you see that this picture was a square, but once you place it inside the frame, it will take the shape of the frame. Everything else will be cut off. So that is what we use frames for. Okay, going back now to elements. So all these are frames. So you can just go to the right side, you click here to see the different types of frames that we have. All these are frames, all these are frames. So it all depends with the kind of design that you'll be working uh, on, all right? So there are a lot of options to, to, you know, to pick and choose from uh, on Canva. And then from there now, let's go to uploads. Let's go to uploads. So uploads, this is where you upload things like pictures. If you want to make a design or maybe a poster, usually there will be a picture of someone and then you put text and uh, the other designs. So this is where you get your pictures, all right? So if you want to upload now, you go here where it says upload files. Let me click on upload files. And then now it will go to uh, file explorer. And then I'll go, I think I have a folder with pictures on my, okay, here it is. And then you just click on the picture. I can actually select all. And then I'll just click on open. And then my pictures will be imported to Canva. So as you can see, now I have my two pictures and then it's still uploading. It's still importing. Okay, so now I have my pictures. So once I have my pictures, now I can just click and drag and then I'll put them on my design. So that's how easy it is. And then once I, I have them on my design, I can also increase the size of the image and then I can move them around depending obviously with what design I'll be doing. So that is how to upload files and use them. All right, okay, moving on now to text. Let me cut this, let me delete this. All right, the next one is text. So this one is self-explanatory. This is what we use when you want to add text. So you can just come in and then you click on, um, let me just click on add heading. And then here now I can type in what I want. So let me just type in uh, please 
subscribe. All right, and then once I have typed in, I can also format my, my um, text. I can increase the font, here where it says plus. This is for increasing the font. And then if I want to change the font uh, type, I'll come here. There's a drop down list where I can just click in on any font type. And as you can see that my text has changed. And then I can also change the color. Here is where you get color. So I can choose from all these colors. So let me choose codes. It's not really visible because of the background. Let me change the background. So for the background, I'll come here, click here. And then here, this is where you get uh, color for the background. So let me change it to black. Yes, now our please subscribe can be seen. And, and while you are on that, please go down there and click on subscribe if this is your first time coming to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you have liked this video. All right, let's continue. So this is basically how to add text. So there are different types of text that you will see as you go down. And again, all these uh, yellow crowns, you can't use them if you're on the free vision. But if you upgrade, you'll be able to use all these ones. All right, so there are lots and lots of uh, options that you can choose from. Lots of options, lots of options. Just keep on scrolling downwards. You'll be able to, 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 to pick the one that you want. All right, okay, so that is how to add text. So let's say you want to take the turning 22, you just click on it. And then here it is. And then from here now, you can adjust it. You can increase the size or you can uh, move it around to position it to where you want it to be. So that's basically how to add text. All right. And then, um, okay, we'll look at those other things later on. Let's just go back and create maybe one design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, an Adidas logo. In Adidas logo, you all know the Adidas logo. So I'm going to do that using elements, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here where it says elements so that I can take uh, my shapes. So shapes, where are my shapes? All right, so I'm going to use, um, let me use the rectangle. So I'm going to click on the rectangle and then I'll adjust it so that um, it will be of this size, yeah, and then I'll change the color to white. All right, and then I'll, you know, tilt it a little bit. And then I'm going to move, I'll move it to maybe this position. And then remember on the Adidas, I think they are three, yeah, they are three. They are three, so I can just copy and paste this one. So I can just, or duplicate, it's easier to duplicate. And then I move it. So this one will be a little bit on top like this. And then I can duplicate it again. And then I'm going to move it. Well, let me put it, let me put my design on at the center here. And then I take this, this should be somewhere here. And then this one now will be somewhere here. All right, and then from there now, I'll take another shape. I'll take the exact same shape. But in this case now, I'm going to use it to cover the bottom parts so that my Adidas logo will come out exactly as uh, it is on the Adidas. Um, okay, let me, let me put this a little bit uh, down. All right, and then here now I can move this up. I move that up like that. So I can now change this color to black. Then I click anyway so that, uh, all right. So there you have it. That's okay. Let, I can just adjust maybe uh, this distance, something like this. And then there you have it, the Adidas logo. So as you can see, it didn't even take two minutes for us to create that Adidas logo. So this is how easy a Canva is. It's, it's very easy. It's very easy. If you just practice and practice, you'll be able to figure out how to do all those um, logos and um, any poster that you can um, think of. All right. So for today, let's end it for the day. <clears throat> What's up, guys? So today I'm going to teach you graphic designing and I'll be using a platform or a software called uh, Canva. So make sure to watch the video 
till the end. I'll be showing you all the steps from A to Z. So after this video, you've been experts in graphic designing using Canva. So 